Well, I think everybody then feels pretty good about if I was just going to do f of 2, then everybody at least understands that whatever is inside those parentheses is now my new input value. And you're plugging those in. OK, Erica? So you have 2 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Um, so therefore, it's 8 minus 6, which equals 2. Everybody feels pretty comfortable with that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're just following the exact same steps. You're just doing f of x plus 2 is just going to be 2 times x plus 2 squared minus 3 times x plus 2. Now, remember what we did, was it last class period? Yeah, last class period. We practiced multiplying, right? And remember, we multiplied binomials. Oh, I erased it, but it was up there. This is a binomial squared. You guys should know how to multiply a binomial squared. You don't need to do FOIL or all the crazy stuff. x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 3 times x plus 2. Now you apply the distributive property. 2x squared plus 8x plus 8 minus 3x minus 6. And then you combine like terms. Those are like terms. Those are like terms. 2x squared um, plus 5x plus 2. Right? Yes? No? So for 